welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about the source specific effects of the signaling molecule interleukin 2 on the immune response. Researchers have identified source specific effects of the signaling molecule interleukin 2 on the immune response. IL-2, as we call it, is an important signaling molecule that has been harnessed as a biological therapy for a number of diseases but can result in unwanted side effects. This study, conducted using new mouse models, found that the immune response to IL-2 is dependent on the cellular source of the IL-2 production. Their new insight explains the link between IL-2 treatments and side effects, opening up the potential to apply this powerful immune modulator to optimize treatment treatments while avoiding off-target effects. A detailed update to our understanding of the key immune system signaling molecule interleukin-2 has been published recently by researchers at the Barbraham Institute. Their findings explain common side effects of IL-2-based therapies and identify potential new uses of IL-2 as an immune-modulating biological drug. This research was only possible thanks to a new mouse model which allowed researchers to control which immune cell types produced IL-2. With further research, this understanding of the rules dictating which cells respond to IL-2 could allow scientists to optimize autoimmune and cancer treatment while avoiding the unwanted side effects. IL-2 is involved in a large number of different communication networks in the immune system, being produced by a variety of cellular sources and affecting a diversity of cell responders. It is not only needed for maintaining regulatory T-cells which prevent our body's immune system from attacking itself, but also CD8 T-cells which attack tumor cells and virus-infected cells. Owing to this dual functionality, IL-2 has been harnessed to both promote an immune response and limit one, depending on the target cells. Despite being actively explored in hundreds of ongoing clinical trials, the full therapeutic potential is currently limited by frequently encountered side effects. Previous explanations for these side effects were based on the high doses of IL-2 when given as a biological drug. But Professor Adrian Liston and his team were able to demonstrate that the cell type making IL-2 and the location of the cells dramatically changed the consequences of IL-2 exposure. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.